ਹੋਈ ਕੀ ਜਵਾਬ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਜੇ ਹੈਂਡ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਕੋਈ ਇਸ਼ੂ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਨੇ ਹੈਂਡ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਕੀ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਦੇਖੇ ਅਭੀ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਆਈ ਅਭੀ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਰ ਕੁਝ ਤੋਂ ਰਵਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਵੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਇਆ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਤਾਂ ਆ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਰਹੀ ਇਸ ਨਾਲ ਅੱਜ ਮੇਰੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਵੀ ਚੇਂਜ ਮੁਸ਼ਕਲ ਨਾ ਹੋ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਮੇਰੇ ਆਰੂ ਮੈਂ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਜੇ 1 ਮਿੰਟ ਚੀਜ਼ 1 ਮਿੰਟ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ ਟਾਈਮ ਕਾ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਤਰ ਰਹੀ ਅੱਛਾ ਇਹ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਅਨਮਿਊਟ ਕਰ ਦੇ ਸੋ ਸਰ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟ ਅਨਮਿਊਟ ਕਰ ਹੂੰ ਉਹ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਕਰ ਦੂੰ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਕੋ ਅਨਮਿਊਟ ਕਰ ਦੇ ਓਕੇ ਸਰ ਆਪ ਖੁਦ ਕੋ ਕਰੇ ਫਿਰ ਉਸਕੇ ਬਾਅਦ ਫਰੈਂਡ ਜੋ ਉਹ ਖੁਦ ਕੋ ਅਨਮਿਊਟ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਹੈ ਸਰ ਅਬ ਮੈਂ ਅਨਮਿਊਟ ਕਰ ਦੂੰ ਸਰ ਸਰ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪ ਕੋ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਰ ਸਰ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਸਟਿਲ ਸੀ ਮੀ ਐਂਡ ਯਾਲ ਦਸ ਮਿਊਟ ਦੇਮ ਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਨਾਓ so the topic uh, today thing is irritable syndrome dr said that the senior senior research department of national institute of gi disease kind and mute them so that i can understand whether you understand it when you can listen your no IBS is a functional disorder of GI tract. By functional, we mean there is no any autoimmune disease or pathology that is going on, and neither structural disease. It's a uh, defect function of GI tract that may lead to abdominal pain and other habits. And this is the most commonly diagnosed GI condition, and upon and upon 
approximately 30% of all reference to GIX. And uh, this is associated with healthcare cost and the second highest cause of work absenteeism. And it's prevalence around 11% with wide geographical variations. This is more found in younger people as compared to older people. And if you talk about uh, gender, then it's more prevalent in females as compared to males. Uh, as I described, that is a functional disorder. We do not have any structural or a particular basis of the disease. So the pathophilia remains certain. And the focus has been on the GI mobility and hypersensitivity. Basically, it's this of a so it's a disorder of perception of GI symptoms by the brain and the role of inflammation, pressure, and fecal flora, ectil of growth uh, may be part in pathology. So, if we talk about mortality, the motor objects that have been observed in patients suffering from I include increased frequency and regularity of male contraction and prolonged transit and exaggerated motor response to CC and wheel engine. Visitor hypersensitivity plays a part in physiology by in patients uh, suffering from IBS observed uh, the these patients have visceral afferent nerve in the gut which are uh, Hypersensitized to spike GI stimulants, serotonin, and cane. A spinal cord also plays a role in its excitability. This has led to observe that I disorder of gut access. Excitation also a role in the pathology of IBS and investigation really revealed that mucosal system can characterize in particular cells and mark patients with this. Uh, the role of infection also uh, thought to play a role in the IPS is some of the patients who develop acute infections then the illness of infection may persist. The development of IPS following infection and tritus is affected cleanly upon of acute diarrheas causing the onset of yes. Alteration in fecal myoflora has also been observed to play part in the physiology of IB. It is that fecal and individual IPS differ from healthy control and vary with dominant symptoms. As we all there are uh, our, there are some areas, some some bad diarrheas that play a role in the Physiology of like this is of vitamin A and the maintain the integrity of GI, GI tract and this this has been the study that demonstrated that colon high sensitivity these patients can transfer to germ animals by putting the animals with fecal microbiota from high BS patients. Now coming to the clinical manifestations, uh, the thing that has that has Remember, IBS this is characterized by chronic abdominal pain and altered bowel. So, the helmet of IBS is chronic abdominal pain and bowel habits. And by a chronic pain, we mean what she describes cramping sensation with variability and pre exacerbation. Location, tractor of pain, widely, severity may range from mild to severe pain and frequently to defecation. Patient describe the pain improved by past foods while describe worsening of the after defecation. Emotional stress and meals exacerbate the pain. Patients so frequently abdominal growth and increased function in the form of petulance or belch. Altered bowel patient may complain of area, some of constipation, while others say they are from alternating media and constitution one 
may normal bowel habit alternating with diarrhea and or constipation so depending on the symptoms ibs is were divided into gas predominant diarrhea ib predominant constipation ibs chronic diarrhea and constipation so management of every group of ibs patient is different so when we talk about diagnosis diagnosis suspecting patients with abdominal pain in gi clinic abdominal pain or bowel habits this should uh, diagnosis should be suspected Actually, or the IBS diagnosis of exposure. so before labeling someone IBS, the common uh, diseases be excluded. So we use do best investigations like the ultrasound, MNG, endoscopy, 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 CT abdomen, rule out organic diseases that may mimic IBS and they may cause the symptoms like. Suffering from a disease, come to GI with abdomen bloating and diarrhea. Same way, someone suffering malignance may come to GI clinic with abdomen bloating in patient. So initially, IP was a diagnosis exclusion, and we use um, uh, upper GI and lower GI and to rule out the sinister diseases before lab labeling someone as IBA but now a clinic diagnosis be made of IBS can be made by this uh, diagnostic criteria limited evolution to exclude unfortunate disease there are many uh, diagnostic criteria I propose but the most used is room criteria describes uh, IBS as recurrent abdominal pain on average at least one day a week in the last so patient must be suffering from chronic abdominal pain for at least three months to be la to be labeled as IBS. Associated with more of the following, the pain related to patient either it improves with difficulty or it gets with difficulty. And where there is abdominal pain, it should be associated with a change in frequency. It may lead increase in frequency. That is, uh, that is the cause in IBS diarrhea. And or uh, frequency was an IBS constriction. And the third it should be with the abdominal pain is a change in form. So this is the room here that is more used and diagnose the IBS. Like I showed that the type of IBS based on the predominant bowel uh, habits. Raised with abdominal pain and uh, to scale we have uh, document the frequency of the stool name is breast stool form and such type should be with a patient of medication. So these are subtype IBS, IBS constipation, IBS area, IBS bowel habit, and then IBS. Basic test to be done before labeling some IBS is RT to screen for efficiency any because as you would already know that iron deficiency anemia, the commonest form of deficiency anemia after nutritional deficiency is losses. So when is GI losses. GI losses he needs to be included. before labeling some IBS we should we should CBC C T protein protecting less these inflammatory that are uh, raised in uh, inflammatory bowel disease so exclude IP uh, we need to and then the serial testing for is a serial present with chronic diarrhea and abdomen and then stimulation for and parasites. Further test not recommended. Education, reassurance, and apparent treatment should In patients who are older and those responding to treatment, chronoscopy is required to exclude malignancy. Uh, in a European country, the prevalence of colorectal carcinoma 
uh, is much so even above the age of 40 is, is recommended to have colonoscopy exclude uh, colorectal carcinoma they have their programs so any patient present at the age of 50 years older he should undergo colonoscopy before letting him to the eye there is there are cases of more this is uh, of since is more likely ibs in colonoscopy performed exclude emergency whenever we perform colonoscopy in patient presenting area so take random biopsies in spite of normal mucus take random biopsies blood microscopic may also diarrhea and pain so the differential diagnosis of the ib is called neoplasia disease flimty bound disease small bowel may present diarrhea and abdomen tuberculosis are part of the world very very high prevalence of the tuberculosis so very early we see patients with chronic diarrhea weight loss pain and we when we go in the colonoscopy we we, we find in tuberculosis and then the disease thyroid exam the diarrhea weight loss uh, hyper may present with pain blood constipation so these are the some different diagnoses that should be treated when some uh, labeling some ibs so once to find and as i just i just meant there is no underlying cause of disease so the treatment is directed towards the symptoms improvement and insurance and of the patient suffering from such a disease so reassurance education and support these are the the, the best of the treatment of the is identifying responding to patient's concern patient concern that are uh, they may be suffering from some sinister disease like nnc about lympho then we identify want to patient's concern explain pathophysiology history of the disorder that cause the mortality but it will cause the mortality and we explain this factor to the patient and should should tell the patient they, they need to identify the triggers that the symptoms and the and triggers in the diet or environment should be avoided we should in the mild infection explain how visual motility sensitivity be exacerbated by environmental and physiology factors. Patients should understand that it is a chronic disorder with periods of exacerbation and persistence. These are the basic uh, targets that a physician should achieve while treating, while treating with IBS. At the end of the clinic, the patient should understand that IBS is a chronic disorder may have a period of exacerbation and the patient should uh, understand this will not lead to the mortality any uh, sinus consequences so that he continue to have a life when it comes uh, to the uh, therapy of the, then the, the, the general is then are some, some specific years which is actually therapy in which we advise and uh, fatty fuel call caffeine and there is, these are things that are tolerated by many of IBS patients maps make certain symptoms food maps are fermentable oxycrides, disacrides, monosaccharides and polyols so uh, this includes six of the uh, which include fructose, lactoctanes, wheat products, orbital once the uh, symptoms improve that may, we may reduce grain the food may identify the food trigger then there are physical measures more than uh, two thousand patients will respond to this education reassurance and dietary interventions each agent we viewed is being adject, adjunctive rather than curative so physical measures what we have uh, drugs these are not curative they are adjective the general may the patient may take given the wide of symptoms the agent is able to relieve uh, our 
in the, the is some pain of diarrhea some patients constipation some complain of alternate pain constipation so every patient treated different differently according to symptoms so anti spasmodic agents for abdomen then and diarrheal agents patients suffering from diarrhea and then anti constipation agents for the patient who are suffering from constipation then we have psychotropic agents like tricyclic uh, tcas and ssri and then we have uh, antibiotics that not absorb gi tract but rather they act gi flora then we have the probiotics so these are different uh, pharmacological devices that clinician to ip special so not all these agents are to be used in any patient no and all the patient are uh, these a so according to the patient we we may specific agents to treat his or her and in the end the patient is not responding to general uh, may uh, then the modification and amino on pharmacological may pharmacological drugs then we have pharmacological therapy bt is a technique no therapy beneficial patients and patient may be uh, from evil in by psyche i mean the, the patient's ability should to pain so if if someone is responding to general may uh, then dietary then uh, uh, the psychotropic agents we have to for these patients go through the to the rest them for anxiety and depression and other risk factors associated with bs sometimes severe depression and anxiety give them their symptoms of gi tract so this is all my side uh, hope you learn something to it's as efficient as uh, Uh, physical classes have but thanks if you could have any question you may ask me So no question thanks